Hey guys, Ed here. Ever notice when adaptive roughing that you're often left with this thin sliver of material at the end of the cut? With aluminum, this usually isn't too much of a problem, but if you're cutting tougher materials like stainless, tool steel, or titanium, they can destroy an expensive end mill in no time. Today, we're gonna to be showing you three different strategies for three different roughing situations that you might run into. Facing, shelving, and slotting. Welcome to another Wednesday widget. First up, this kind of situation you will often see when you need to remove a lot of excess stock above a flat part, essentially adaptive facing. Normally, in this case, an adaptive will leave you with that dangerous thin sliver of material at the center of the part. So all we need to do is hop back into fusion, sketch a rectangle around that area, this might vary depending on your part size and stock size, so you might need to play around with it a little bit to get it just right. But now we can use that rectangle as our containment geometry, so the adaptive clears all the material up to that point. Then we can come back with a different operation, either stepping it down with a facing strategy to take it off in single width passes, or another adaptive set to take shallower, wider cuts. The next example we have is clearing material up to a shelf. Normally when the bottom of your shelf face is rectangular like this, it will leave you with a sliver of material intersecting the shelf wall. So if we jump back into Fusion and draw some containment geometry to break that rectangular area down into squares and rough those away in sequence, they will rough away cleanly with no slivers left behind. Last up, I think the most impressive is slotting, because not only does it save you tool life, it can drastically reduce cutting time. Normally with an adaptive slot, you can see it's just nibbling away slowly, a lot of linking moves, a lot of wasted time, just cutting air. Well with this technique, we first take a full width slot in a few step downs, and then come back in with an adaptive to clear the rest of the slot. You can see it's going back and forth along the walls with only a short linking move in between. So it can be two to three times faster and you aren't left with the dangerous sliver at the end of the slot. Card here to the page on the NYC CNC site, where you can download the F3D of this sample file, check out the strategies in more detail, and copy and paste the operations directly into your project files. That's all for this week. Thanks again to Arthur for sharing these tricks with us. We'll see you next time.